Let's get your EXO Open Range Deluxe ready to go. With the Open Range empty of its contents, install the Open Range on your EXO system. Completely loosen both knobs of the EXO swing base or top shelf by turning them counterclockwise until they can no longer turn. But first, make sure the pin next to the knobs is in the unlocked position. Next, grab the Open Range, lift and tilt the rear of the box slightly back as you slide it into the track of the EXO swing base or top shelf arms. Then, lower the front of the box into the track. Now, tighten the knobs completely. Press in the locking pins and lock the knobs with the key. The knobs will spin freely when locked. To check it is installed correctly, lift up on the XO open range. It should not move. To open the XO open range, first release the two latches. Slide the utensil tray into place then install the lantern pole on either side of the open range. Remove the plug from the location of your choice and fully insert the pole. Make sure the end of the pole is seated in the holder within the open range. To install the backboard organizer, insert it into the mounting points on top of the open range. And during transport, make sure you store the lantern pole and backboard organizer in your EXO open range. Next, install the table attachment rungs. Using the four millimeter wrench, remove the pre-installed short screws and washers. And install the rungs like this with the included longer screws as shown. Repeat to install both rungs on both sides of the open range. Now you're ready to install the side tables. First, install the legs to the metal or wood side table. Loosen this knob until you can insert the leg into the receiver. Be sure the post of the knob is within the channel of the receiver. Then, fully tighten the knob. Next, loosen the adjustment knob and extend the leg like this to about the height of the rung you are attaching the table to. And make sure the adjustment knob is seated in one of the slots before tightening the knob back up. You can mount the side tables to the upper or lower rungs, as well as a spot on the carrying handles. To attach, significantly back out the retention screw or remove it altogether. Engage the hooks and tighten the retention screw up to lock it in place. If necessary, adjust the height of the leg until the table is level. Repeat these steps for both tables. For the wood table, install a cutting board by placing it in the hole so it seats in place. And to use the sink, remove the cutting board insert and install the sink and expand it like this. To install the drain plug, remove the default plug, insert the drain plug, and attach the hose to the drain plug. Make sure the drain plug is fully seated before use. To use the metal side table, extend the wire rack out at this point, you could install the backboard organizer on the metal or wood side table like this. Next, grab your cookout camp stove and place on the metal side table and install the adhesive pads on the bottom of the stove like this. Before you set up your stove, read all the safety warnings found in the instruction manual. Open the lid and align the hole in the windscreen with the tabs on the inside lid and snap into place. You can hook up the propane to the stove using a rigid connection or the flexible regulator. No matter the connection, tighten the connector to the stove like this. Then attach the propane tank. If you're using the rigid connector, use the wire rack as shown. If you're using the flexible connector, put the cylinder in the tank holder and hang on the metal side table. Now you're ready to light the stove. Slowly turn the valve a half turn into the on position while simultaneously pressing the red ignition button. If the stove does not light within five attempts, shut off the valve and wait 20 seconds before you try again. Once the stove is lit, use the valve to control the desired flame. To turn the stove off, turn the valve clockwise completely. Remove the propane tank when not in use 
and remove the regulator during transport. Now it's time to pack everything up. You can store the cookout camp stove in the open range like this. And to pack up the wood table, store the sink, cutting board, and legs in the open range and nest the wood side table like this. The metal side table will not fit in the open range. The metal side table will fit in the provided bag so you can store it in your car or exo gear locker. Now you're ready to go. To lock the open range, use the included keys to lock each of the two locks on either side of the open range. And when it's time to remove the open range, unlock the knobs with your key. Set the lock pins to the unlocked position, then completely loosen the knobs, turning them counterclockwise until they are fully open. If the box is loaded, find a buddy and with their assistance, lift the EXO open range off the EXO system. And for freestanding use of the EXO open range, use the open range leg kit sold separately. Well, that's it. Now get out and take it easy.